So, <laughs> you want to go a few rounds? When this is over, we'll see who is obsolete. Everybody, Nostalgia Scott coming to you guys with part five of Crash Bandicoot Warped, part of the re reignited trilogy, insane trilogy for the Xbox. Now, what level was it that we kind of screwed up the gem on? It was Sphinxinator, so let's go back and do this one because Crash. Cool. Okay, that's just gonna talk about the time trials. I'm gonna talk about that later. Uh, as for right now, we're just here solely for. The, um, what's it called? The regular gem. So we have to get 105 boxes, which is kind of a bummer that I got sucked through that portal at the end, which is kind of silly. Oh yeah, we also have the Death Tornado spin now, which will make a lot of things easier. Wait, was that the ability we got? First ability was the Body Slam, second was the Double Jump. Yeah, okay, so it was the Death Tornado spin we got last episode. Like I said, when I was recording the Spire episodes, like, um, the next three you guys will see. Uh, I said I haven't recorded in a while, and that's because I'm being serious. Like, I haven't recorded this series in over a week. Uh, the last week all I recorded was Enter the Dragonfly and Wrath of Cortex because I thought those games were going on too long, and I wanted to finish them. That way they weren't spread out like every two or three days you'd see one episode. I wanted to just have an episode a day until we finished it. Alright, we got this, so for this first one I'm just gonna wait patiently and then I can destroy it all at once. Then we can make it up for this one. Let's kill this guy. I don't even want to bother with the bumper fruit. I have 49 lives. There is an achievement though for getting 99 lives, I think, in every Crash game in this series. It's one of the achievements. Oh yeah, this is the part that has the Nitro, right? Yes it is. Right. But honestly, I don't care about that life. And we don't need to take the blue gem pathway anymore, so that's a thing. Thank you. Get in my way, Spears. Oh yeah, this one. This is the one that has the double crushy things. I don't think I'm in the way, am I? Ah yes, I'll say that and then immediately get crushed. I'm gonna get crushed by this if I try, yep. At this point we only have 27 boxes, that's pretty sad. Now, I know for a fact this will destroy all of them, but I don't know if it destroyed technically all of these ones too. Wait, they destroyed- oh, I thought it was just a life, it was just the one prefer it was making a sound for. I okay, know that was only 45 that we were at. Are you serious? So you can't run through them until they're up. Good to know, good to know. Man, I'm just I'm just being an idiot. Remember how we didn't die once in this level last time, and now I'm just being an idiot? Yeah. Actually, I think I died at one point. Because we would get, what, to 45 here? Yeah, we're gonna get to 45. <laughs> Now hurry up so I can walk through. Thank you. Yeah, I don't. I was way too far. Uh oh. Oh, I thought I was gonna get crushed again and then have to backtrack it. Oh my god, it's right at the freaking checkpoint. Go me, I guess. Oh, so I don't get this section. This section's kind of just weird, where you just have to like travel across the platforms. Like we. Oh, look, a flamethrower. We're about. We're almost halfway done. That scared me. I don't know why. I jumped on the flamethrower and it startled me. Anyways, let's take this. Let's see if we can get to, like, 70% or so. I think this is the only one we're missing outside of the, um, ones where you have to backtrack with the colored gems, right? There we go. Oh yeah, this is that really easy one, which is just primarily TNT for whatever reason. Yeah, the last four are literally right here. Yeah, this is kind of that joke one. Yeah, Now let's leave. More, 28 more boxes for our collection. We're at 81. I love how, like, if the platform makes it to the end before the, uh, totals are tallied up, it, like, just, uh, just instantly puts them in there. This level also has, like, a lot of just stuff like this. I'm gonna jump on this monkey for his fruit. Cruel and unusual bunch of- Now, don't do what I did in the, the first time playing this level, where I literally screw up by going through the portal. Because I think the snake, right? I think it was the snake. Wait, I thought there was a snake. I don't know, maybe it was the monkey. 
I don't know how I managed it last time. That was funny, though. Anyways, we got the gem, so now we don't have to worry about that. There we go, pull it out of our butt. And now I think we're in... Oh, wait. Never mind, we're still in this world. I thought we made it to the next world, but I realized that... Okay, what do we got here? Okay, we did that one. Oh, we did Bye Bye Blimps, I think, at the end of the last episode. We can do Tell No Tales. Future Frenzy, which we cannot 100% yet. And we did Tomb Waiter. So, I guess we'll do Tell No Tales, which is another Coco level. Are we actually going to be able to do two bosses in a row? Interesting. Alright, 61 boxes. May not seem like a lot, but this level is oddly... It's kind of lame. Like, just because the way they set it up, so you kind of have to backtrack and loop around a few places just to make sure you don't miss anything is ridiculous. Like, it's not a terrible level. The third level of this kind, though, is redonkulous. Like, it is godforsakenly bad. I don't remember if this is the way we want to go, or... Okay, it is. So we want to go back this way. For these boxes. See what I mean? And also, there's not a lot of checkpoints in this level, so be careful. I was doing these levels for practice on, like, my other account that I just do for when I'm, like, bored and want to re-get achievements. And, uh, yeah, I, I turned it off here because it was ridiculous. It only took me about half an hour to get here, though. Then I'm like, I don't want to keep playing this game too much because I'm already doing it as a let's play. Also, I'm pretty sure I can see the exit of the level. Yeah, it's right there. Like, these levels are actually not very big in the sense of, like, there's a lot of, like, like, like they're huge or anything. They're just awkward because you gotta, like, backtrack a lot. Oh, God. Now, there are no more uh, boxes around there. There's only the two. I found that out when I was practicing. Actually, it wasn't even when I was practicing. It was when I was playing this for fun because I only got it, like, a month, the game a month ago. It was on, like, discount, so I got it. I gotten like a bunch of games for like five bucks, so this is one of them. And uh, yeah, like it was. I've been playing it for the achievements, but that was when the cloud services on Xbox were down, which have been happening like once a week at this point, where achievements just don't pop up. Even though you get them, they don't pop up, so it makes it feel like you're missing out on something. So you keep doing something over and over just to realize that you've already had it. And it's so stupid, man. And also, when I was practicing, I died to the seagull, which is really funny because I've never died to the seagulls outside of doing it on purpose. So, like, now, weird thing is, you have to go that way, not this way. This way is just an area where you actually have to, um, you know, just go and collect boxes from, which is really silly. I almost, I almost got killed there. I thought that was a box of one. Like, did I miss a box all the way back there? I'm gonna have to backtrack, but no, that was just a ramp. Thank god it's a ramp. Yeah, I think this is the part where I died, or something close to this, and then I was just like, yeah, no, I'm done practicing for the day. Because we're already at 46 out of 61. Now, luckily, these levels never have nitro, except for the final one, which is a bonus one, which we could have already went to, but I don't want to do those till we beat the game, because I know I'm gonna have to edit them a lot because they frustrate the living daylights out of me. So, yeah. I think I died on this guy when I was doing my practice run, and then I was just like, yeah, because my niece was over and she was loud, so I couldn't really hear anything. I wasn't paying attention, so I just kind of, uh, was stupid. Also, did I seriously go, like, over or under that crystal? Thank you. Wait, these guys are, like, escaped prisoners. They're wearing, um, like, the striped jumpsuits. I I, t I take a guess that they're supposed to be like pirate prisoners, but still. Oh, I had Aku Aku, thank god. I thought I died. Because for some reason, I just completely missed the ramp, and that was on me. Not, not the game, that was just me. And the last three boxes are literally right here. So yeah, we complete the level, woo! Hey, we can get a life if we make it up here somehow. Well, we beat the level. 
So another 100%. So we went back, got a gem, and we also beat a level. Pretty good. One new message. Oh, email. I'm like, what's that? Anyways, we got that. Now we only have one level we can do, which requires us to get a different pathway. So don't even bother trying to get 100% in this level because you can't. So, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna run through. Like, don't even bother with the, the boxes, because you literally cannot get 100% here. Now, these levels are super cool, and they are fan favorites. That's why the bonus level in this game that the game added as free DLC was one of the uh, future levels that was scrapped. As well as in the first game, I Stormy Sun. I don't think Crash 2 has any bonus content, though. We'll be playing these games in reverse order, but I'm going to take a break once we beat this game before we do the next Crash one so I can get some other series in and like finish off Fairly Up Parents and stuff. I still have to record some of that. I also downloaded A Dog's Life. I think that's what it's called, A Dog's Life, which is a this just goofy, weird, silly British game. And it's just, it's just a blast. I think you guys will like laugh. It may not be the most serious let's play we're going to do on the channel, or the most epic, but it'll be hilarious. I, I think you guys will thoroughly enjoy it. Now these enemies you can only kill when their spikes are down, so yeah, watch out for that. These guys, they're, the rings on their ship are also super heated, so they will hurt you. These will make you spin. But they'll also make you go up. So that's the thing. And hey, we got a checkpoint. There's also 133 boxes. And the sad part is, is you can't actually get them all. So yeah, just just be warned about that. Anyways, let's go up this elevator, which apparently you actually have to wait patiently for. Don't have to wait patiently for that guy though, that's for sir. For sir? Yes, for sir. Sir, may I have some more? No. For sure. Essentially, it causes the Death Tornado spin to happen automatically, just at a weaker variant where it doesn't go as long. I believe this is the last checkpoint, too. There's the only thing we can get in this level, so we'll grab that. Yeah, I believe this is the, um... This might be the final spot. I don't even know what these are. They're like weird satellite spark plug things? I don't know. That part can be kind of scary, honestly. Oh yeah, this part we do have to have some patience for. And there we go. I think it was this level we can 100% complete, but anyways, we got to the next boss. So beautiful. Yeah, we're actually going to be able to start the next world. We have Dr. Engine. Oh, it's a Coco level. Which is actually pretty fun, by the way. So, <laughs> you want to go a few rounds? When this is over, we'll see who is obsolete. Also, that white flickering, I did double check. That is not only when I'm recording. It's just in the game naturally. And so, you have to shoot. So it's kind of like the um, Wawa boss fight. Remember when I... No, not Wawa. Lolo. When we had to aim at the parts that, you know, were being used... Yeah, because you can only shoot parts that are being used. So, like, when his minigun's out, you can shoot his minigun when it's up. You can shoot his uh, shoulder blades when it's open. You can also shoot, I think, his belly at literally any given time. And he only loses health when, like, a part of him breaks. So, like that. Also, the analogs... Like, the aiming on this is really awkward, which is the whole point of, like, the boss fight. It's supposed to be difficult that way. Once you start breaking him, it's a lot easier because then he doesn't have as many gimmicks going on. Oh, I thought I took damage, but it was because we destroyed the gun. It made me jump for a second. Yeah, your best bet for his turret or like miniguns is to shoot them while he's uh, powering them up because they have to start spinning before they can shoot, right? Yeah, this boss has two phases. I believe it's technically the longest boss fight in the entire game. I love how Pura has a gun. Like, what the heck's happening? So, now we gotta do it again, but... Now a little bit more difficult. And if you die, you have to do the entire level over. And you can't destroy those weird things that home in on you, by the way. 
But luckily we destroyed the thing that summons them, so that's good. Oh, he's gonna open up these uh, weird pink ball shooter thingies. There we go, one missile launcher dead. Can that thing get away from me? Just taking up my screen at this point. Oh, and he'll open up this one now. There we go, that's destroyed. Oh. Now he'll just keep opening and closing these, so he can kind of just sit at one if you really want to. Because this is his only attack. And there we go, he's dead. And we got the fruit bazooka. Now let's leave. Nice, another level done. Engine defeated. It's funny how history repeats itself. Yet again, Engine has failed to defeat you. <laughs> what? For this we must destroy you! <coughs> oh, my aching head. I'm not feeling myself these days. So, the end is in sight. Gather another five crystals, and again you will have foiled my plan. Or will you? Um, I don't know. Also, why did Crash come out and then it was Coco? That was weird. But anyways, now we can go on to the last hub world, the futuristic world of the future. So we have the levels Gone Tomorrow. Oh, that might be the level I couldn't 100%. I don't know. Orange Asphalt, which is annoying. Flaming Passion, which has the green gem. We'll probably do that one. Mad Bombers, which is another one of Crash's flying levels. And Bug Light, which we need all colored gems for. So we need the gold gem, though. But let's go to this one, because we need the green gem. So let's go to Flaming Passion. Death Road, okay. Right, and there's only 75 boxes. Now, um, if you hold down L2, you can then fire a Fruit Zooka. Originally, when I played the third game as a kid... I thought it used Wumpa Fruit, so like, the more Wumpa Fruit you had on reserve, the the more you could use your ability, but that wasn't actually how it was at all, it was just infinite. Would have been cheesy if that was the case, but it's not actually the case. Are you serious? Did you have to throw the flame out when I was here? Also the Fruit Zooka I'm pretty sure can kill like most enemies. Even ones that would normally take two hits with a spin attack, which is kind of cool. You can also destroy the, um... Most people call them ladies, but they're clearly dudes, because they're clearly the, um... The, uh, guys, like, the, uh... Cortex is, like, mad scientist dudes, because they have the same glasses. So, yeah, you know... They're not ladies at all. Also, is that the... Crystal... Already? Like, really? Now, we're 14 boxes in, and we already got the crystal. Man, some of these levels are just notoriously, like, weird when it comes to that. Fire in the hole. There we go. That just prevents them from damaging you, because there is a death route, and we've already gotten a checkpoint. And the death route is actually at the end of this. Like, this section right here. This level is actually really short, if you're wondering. When in doubt if you can't if you're not sure if you can kill an enemy, make sure you just use the uh use the death tornado spin because that way they won't be able to kill you. Now we should be able to make it up here. Yep. And there's the uh death route. Now this one's a little more ridiculous because if you die. If you die in here and then die in the other part, then yeah, it's an issue. Now, I can't remember if this is one with uh, checkpoints or not. I'm, oh, yeah, this one is the one with checkpoints, so we're going to actually have to um, come back to get 100% here. We'll have the crystal, but we won't have the um, the regular gem for getting all the boxes, because it's logically impossible. But see what I mean? I knew that was coming, too. I was just like, oh, I can, I can get a little bit of distance before I get wang chunged with a sword, but no, I'm an idiot. Alright, Mr. Sword Thrower, you're dead. Honestly, though, this Death Row platform isn't even that bad. Like, I don't even think it needed checkpoints. Like, 
Oh yeah, this guy doesn't trigger until you actually get a little bit closer. Yeah, see, there's the green gem. Wait, or can we get 100%? We might be able to. Normally you get the exit portal. I kind of want to go back and see for a second if we missed anything this way. I can't tell what's going on. Oh, there's a cliff right there. Okay. I didn't even notice it. Now we have to do this again. Which is a bummer, but whatever. So yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna... Oh, god darn it. That was on me. What we're gonna do is we're gonna just backtrack. We'll probably do the... Ah, uh, nah, I think I have time in this episode, maybe. I don't even know. I'll figure it out when I get to that point in time. Because like I said, this is actually... When's the sword gonna come? There it is. Like I said, this is really short, so what I'll do is I'll just backtrack. This Let's Play might be less than 10 parts. We're only on the final world. There's one technical bonus world with all the um, other ones. Uh, and I have to look. Well, I don't even know why I destroyed those. I can't get 100% because I gotta go backward. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe now we can. I didn't think of that. If I do that, maybe now I can actually... Wait, what? How do you cut my pants off? Sir, your sword was the other direction. That's not how swords work. Unless it's so sharp that... Okay, can you just not kill them when they're swinging? I thought you could kill them from behind. Wait, I thought we killed them behind last time. Oh my god, and then I slipped off the edge. This is this is just turning into an episode of me being stupid. I hate when people say you're bad at a game, even though you're clearly just being stupid, not bad. Alright, so remember, this part over here, we gotta be careful. Also, we haven't been to the bonus game yet. I'm pretty sure the bonus game is what we missed, right? Huh. Oh wait, that was the death platform! So no, all we missed was one box. Well, good thing I came back. Now we know that we don't actually have to backtrack if we die. Or backtrack as far, because we just need that one box. But I'm pretty sure we can beat the level now without any problems. Kinda don't want to run into Mr. Swordman again. Don't want to look like an idiot to my subscribers. Though, so none of you guys actually like insult, which is kind of cool. I think those are all pretty decent subscribers. I should say good subscribers. See, the level's actually really short. I'm just making it longer than it needs to be. So most of the boxes are going to be here. Now, fun fact about the uh, Fruit Zooka is Nitro is no longer a problem. And a lot of these boxes are just straight up Nitro. It's funny because in Wrath, it was L2 and R2. No, not L2 and R2. R1 and R2 that... R1 and R2. L1 and R1, that were the uh, uh, bazooka's controls. Huh. Yeah, yeet. See, it's clearly making you use the fruit zooka, because how else would you destroy these? You know? Like, how else would you possibly even destroy these? With your mind, I guess. And then we gotta turn around and aim upward. At least for some reason in this game, it's way easier to control than Wrath of Cortex. I don't know what they did to the controls in that game, but they're bad. And then we only need five more. So we're gonna kill this guy up here first. And he still got the fire off somehow. Oh, I, I see that up there. I'm pretty sure they do that so you have to use the Zooka. I don't know why I called it a Zooka instead of a Bazooka, but lots of people do. So it's not that weird, I guess. And now we just have to get to there, and then we got 100%, and then we can end the level. Or end the level, end the episode. There we go. Boom.
right on. Nice. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please remember to leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, join the Discord and Patreon in the links below, and I'll see you guys all next time when we hopefully finish off Hub World 5. Awesome. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.